All right, Fishaholics, welcome back to another episode out here in Montauk, like always. And uh, probably by the title of this video, you could tell that I got something new or well, pre owned, but new for me. And uh, this is it right here the 24 foot Fishmaster inshore center console. And uh, I've been shopping for a boat since like January and finally pulled the trigger. I felt like it was just time to like up the game, up the content, and uh, just, you know, film and create something different, and hopefully this will help me do it. And uh, if you've been a follower since, like, some of my older videos, you've seen that I had, like, a smaller, like, 12-foot, um, like, aluminum boat with a small, like, 9.9 on it. So I had that rigged up for, like, bass fishing. I did a ton of fishing out of that, but uh, this is, like, my first, like, more, like, sizable boat, and uh, I'm stoked. It needs a lot of TLC, and I'm going to give you kind of just a quick little walkthrough. And uh, today we've got Jerry behind the camera, and uh, Mike behind him from First State Fishing, he's gonna be out on the boat with us today. And uh, we're just gonna try and nail some stripers and some albies. So uh, let's just start like a, a quick uh, full walkthrough of the boat. So first off right here, we have the part of the boat, a Suzuki four stroke 200 horsepower DF. And uh, I believe it's a 2004, with about 400 hours on it. It looks a lot older because of the paint fading off, off the top. This uh, boat was originally down in Florida and uh, I think just the heat got to it. But uh, the engine runs great, and, um, or you know, knock on wood, metaphorically knock on wood, <laughs> um, hopefully it runs great today. But I was already out in it a couple other times, and uh, it was awesome. It goes up to about 53 miles an hour, and uh, I think the first thing to do now is either repaint this or get just an engine cover to make it look a little bit nicer. And then next we have a dual axle trailer here, which uh, probably needs some work on it, like, I think the disc brakes are disconnected. Luckily, this boat is being kept just right down the street. And um, yeah, I mean, if you know how to reconnect disc brakes on a trailer, these are new tires. So I kind of don't want to get a new trailer, but if uh, if I can't do the work on this to like fix it up and make it so I could like travel with this boat, then um, I might just buy a new trailer. But um, yeah, that's about it uh, right on the exterior. So let's just hop inside, give you a closer look. All right, so up here, Obviously, we have the bow of the boat, nice casting platform for uh, fishing backwater areas. And uh, I'm hoping to eventually get uh, an electric trolling motor up here on the front. Um, didn't come with one. I think there, there was one that was on here, but um, wasn't um, usable. So the owner took it off. And uh, I bought this from a guy that was like 80 years old. His name is Pete. He's lived in Montauk his whole life. And he like is a snowbird, goes down to Florida. And it was kind of cool. He just wanted to get rid of this boat. Um, you know, as quick as possible. So I got this rig for like a pretty good price. Right here we've got a nice little live well, which uh, I believe the pumps are working. I checked that out yesterday. Um, I'm intrigued to see if we could fill it up with water today. And uh, we've got a nice seat here right behind the center console. And we've got four rocket launcher rod holders right behind the seat. And then on the left and right or port and starboard side of the center console we've got uh, an additional three uh, three rod holders six rod holders uh, which is pretty sweet and then along the gunnel of the port and starboard we also have an additional uh, like 10 rod holders so lots of room to uh, put put a ton of gear but really you don't really need a whole lot of gear to um, catch a ton of fish you know just essential equipment that'll get the job done and then moving towards the stern of the boat we've got another live well right here which um, is looking pretty crusty but uh, a little Clorox and some scrubbing maybe we could fix that up and then if uh, say we're gonna have a few extra passengers on each side of the boat we've actually got a nice little pop-up seat like that so we can have a guy sitting here we've got another one over here maybe two people here and then maybe another person uh, up in front of the console sitting on top of the other live well and uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much about it for this uh, simple rig. We do have um, one electronic unit up there, which is a Lowrance uh, Elite 5 HDI, which came with the boat. Might get something to upgrade that a little bit, but uh, it might be perfect just for the meantime. And um, yeah, I think um, it should be a good day now. It's uh, like 2 p.m. almost, and uh, we're gonna have the entire incoming tide to get out there, try and catch some albies, some striped bass, and uh, yeah, let's get this baby in the water and um, see if we can put some fish on the deck. Let's do it.
our first area along the south side of Montauk. And uh, we've got a pretty good swell going on here, but uh, at least the wind is kind of laying low. And uh, dead ahead of us, we've got some birds working on some bait and uh, I'm not seeing any splashes yet. But uh, we've got a few guys here casting. So I'm gonna put this camera down, switch to the head cam and uh, start casting around something so you can get bit. All right, I'm gonna start off with the lucky egg float and fly. And I see the color of this rod. This is kind of like the color I eventually want to paint the boat. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, gonna definitely have to rename it on the side of the boat now it says the kazoo. Did you get another bite? No, I almost fell off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> you can sit down and cast too probably. If you feel more comfortable. The birds know where they're gonna pop back up. They can see them down there. Really? Oh yeah. It's crazy, all those boats just came out of nowhere. Some fish right in front of us, coming up near the surface. Not really feeding heavy, just like splashing here and there. You had a really good shot at that first one you hooked up on. Yeah, I don't that know. That was your first cast? Yeah, it was yeah. the first cast. Yeah. I avoided the curse so, though, right? <laughs> you did, the first fish cast, you avoided that. So Mike, Mike, Mike threw a first cast into some blitzing fish and like got nailed right next to the boat. It's pretty sick. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, fish. You did get hit, huh? That could be. I said you could have bumped one, or they hit like by accident. Oh, they're right there, right there. Oh shit. There he is. Slammed it. Oh, he wanted it so slow. <laughs> that was so cool. That's why I haven't been getting bit since we started. I was fishing it so fast. Or too fast. Woohoo! <laughs> That's why we're out here. Heck yeah. Hooked up on the first Albi of the season. Whew. No better feeling. You know, we only get these species of fish like for a short little window in the fall. So you really gotta make the most of it. Oh no, did I lose them? Oh, dang. <laughs> you gotta make the most of it by getting them in the boat. <laughs> I just failed right there, dang. Whoa, they're going crazy right over there. This is it, Mike. We've got to catch one here. Come on, come on, fish, come on. Come on. There he is, fish on. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, finally. Whoo. Hell yeah. <laughs> I just want to get one Albi today in the new rig. That really is just the goal. <sighs> Whew. 
There he is. Little Albert. Whoo! That's what I'm talking about right there. Check out the fly right in the corner of his mouth. Absolutely perfect. Popped right out. There she goes. Whoo! All right, Mike, now let's get you on. What, you see him? <laughs> oh, right there, you cast. That's you. That's all you. You can hit that. All right, start that retrieve. I'm going to try and get us closer. See if they pop back up. If you can't get hooked up right there, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's like your best chance right here. That was a bass. Some bass mixed in. Dude, you just had a fish come right after it, yeah. Oh, you caught a bird! You caught a bird and thought it was a fish. <laughs> there he is! Fish on! This might be a striper. Oh yeah. Bass are mixing in with the albies now. Oh, it's not a bad little striper. Nice, look at that fish right there. Probably about 28, 29 inches. A little surf candy. See ya. So oh, Mike. Tangled. Oh, I'm so sorry. Poor little birdie. I know, right? I don't, it's like tangled so bad. Hey. This is a sad moment. Where I'm just not sure how this even happened. I mean, this is just part of the spoils of, you know, fishing in like feeding frenzies like this when, you know, the birds are after the bait that the fish are pushing up and uh, yeah, he should be good to go. Hopefully go? we'll get, it will give him a nice like toss like into the wind or something. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I'll take him. There he goes. Well, that was graceful. You like that? that? <laughs> you I, I've done it many times before. You seem experienced with <laughs> Like Pelicans are the worst. I mean, just the. All right, so I got a bass. Mike got a bird. It happens. <laughs> oh man, I I was for sure you were gonna hook up like I thought I did, in that and situation. You thought you were in and. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Hooked up. <laughs> that, that is an Alvy, dude. Yeah. And the, the funny thing is, is what is it? Like a second ago, you were like, should I change the bait? <laughs> Glad you didn't. That's an Alvy. Welcome to the Alby world.
You try tighten the drag a little bit. Oh, uh, it was an Albi. Yeah, I think it was an Albi, but you just had him side hooked. <laughs> Dang, man. Holy You'll get the next one. I still got some time. Oh, you just, you just got bit. Is he, is he on there? You got him. <laughs> You got him on and you almost got pulled off the boat. You literally almost got, went swimming. Holy crap. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> nice. Oh, this one's a bloody one. There he is. Woo. All right, there you go. Oh, yeah, he's definitely a little bloody. Oh my gosh. Why is he doing that? <laughs> you hooked them a little, a little deep, but they're naturally, uh, you know, a bloody fish. No. All right, guys. Well, it's a little after five o'clock. Mike got his albie and got the boat nice and dirty. And uh, I think we're just gonna start working our way back in with uh, the incoming tide, and uh, of course, you know, stop at any spot that uh, is showing some signs of some fish, and uh, we'll give it a crack. If we can't catch anything else, and uh, I'll see you guys. Back at the ramp. All right, Fishaholics, back on land. Uh, pretty cool outing out there. It was. Uh, a little troublesome for, for Mike at times. Uh, bird, um, snagged an albi, bled an albi. <laughs> uh, but it was all in good fun. You know, it was an interesting day out there. And I'm um, glad that I was able to kind of show you guys the new brig and as well as get out there and catch some fish on it. And uh, I'm super stoked to uh, see what the future holds and what el else we can catch on this boat and what else we could do to this boat to make it uh, a more badass rig and uh thanks to jerry over there for you know filming some of the stuff he's, he's gonna you know definitely have has a, a bunch of cool shots that i think uh you know hopefully will turn out pretty cool um throughout this video and uh yeah i'll put uh mike's channel link down in the description do you have a channel or instagram, instagram or yeah. okay i'll put jerry's instagram down in the description definitely check him out and uh be sure to hit the subscribe button like button and I'll see you guys in the next video.